With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start this question. This question says that we need to find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square minus 3x minus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Now, let's solve the quadratic equation. It is x square minus 3x minus 10. Now, let's split 10 as 5 into 2 and that would uh, make it x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 equals 0. So what we did, we just split 10 in 5 into 2 and since it is minus 3, we did minus 5x plus 2x. And this is equal to 0. So the given quadratic equation was x square minus 3x minus 10 and we just split it and now we need to solve it that makes it x into x minus 5 plus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0 which further implies x plus 2 into x minus 5 equals 0 which finally gives x to be minus 2 or 5. So these are the zeros. Now for the sum of zeros sum of zeros equals 5 plus minus 2 that is 3 and that is equal to the minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Why? Because 3 is nothing but 3 by 1 and uh, which can be written as minus of minus 3. Now the coefficient of x is minus 3. So minus of minus 3 is again plus 3 and uh, we can write 1 as coefficient of x square because coefficient of x square is 1. So that gives the first relation. Now for the second relation, let's look at the product. The product of zeros is 5 into minus 2 that is minus 10 and which is again equal to minus 10 by 1. Now the quadratic equation the constant term was 10 minus 10 in the quadratic equation. So this is equal to the constant coefficient or term by coefficient of x square. And that gives the relation of the zeros. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.